All right, stage three of the special event, First Flight, featuring Aston Martin Valkyrie. Here we go. The sun's first rays. Uh, glad that you once again joined me on this adventure. Today we'll be attending a track day at the beautiful Eiffel Mountains. Nürburgring? Is that what it is? Oh, uh, yes. Happy to be back at the Nürburgring. It looks like there's a few familiar faces on track today too. Uh, they won't need as much convincing to join the race this year. Uh, I would agree with you if this was any other machine, but I do fear that our Valkyries will make my invitations more difficult to accept. Okay, four goals to complete and uh, skipping cost up to 40 gold now. And early morning track, so morning rendering. And, uh, okay, familiarize ourselves with the circuit to prepare for a friendly race this afternoon. All right, so seems like it's just a uh, finish a lap. Recommended PR up to 100, 1.4, I think is what it said. Uh, ah, without damaging your car. Okay, that's uh, kind of important. Uh, looks like we have to warm up the tires as well as I skid <laughs> right across. Um, I think the skidding, as long as you stay on track, does speed up the process of warming up the tires. And we are not ranked. Looks like that's a, that looks like a Camaro, doesn't it? Draft behind Camaro for a little bit. You know we have a like rid of like I want to say like ten cars in this goal. Uh, but uh, considering that we're not ranked, maybe they don't really care where. Uh, maybe they'll give us a P1 finish no matter what, as long as we finish. I don't know. We'll find out. And looks like uh, Amar Pro. With the lime green color. Left behind our fellow Aston Martin for a little bit. And let's see. It's like technically two laps, isn't it? And looks like. Another British skater hand. Look at that. Uh, Caper and seven. Right, like 620R or something along that line. A lovely car. Interesting grid. Uh, certainly not the legendary uh, legend class cars that I'm racing here. So let's uh, keep on going. Let's see who else we have in this grid. Uh, what is that? It looks like a Porsche, doesn't it? Is that a Cayman? I think that is Cayman, I assume. Not hard to tell. In this dark morning rendering. Yeah, and then you go off track, it does bring your um, grip percentage back down. So, yeah, something to keep in mind. But they don't really, they didn't say anything about going off track on this one, so. I, I don't think that there's quite enough track left to um, really climb up, catch up to any other opponents in this 
goal to um, check out what the others are driving. P8, we are ranked. They didn't say that. Ah. Uh, I, I would have tried harder had I known. <laughs> oh well, doesn't really matter. So how many cars were there? There were 12 in the grid. Okay, so I overtook, uh, obviously, some slower cars. Uh, but the top of the grid, oh, minute 58 with a P1 GTR. Yeah, that's going to be a tough competition. P1 GTR in any grid, I would say. That's a really one of the possibly one of the best cars in the game. Venino, I think uh, it's a obviously fast car, but I think it's one of the more overpriced cars, if you ask me. Uh, and 918 Spider, Visek package. Yeah, I love 918s. It's, uh, yeah, all three renditions in the game are excellent. And of course, Ahmed in his Valkyrie. And McLaren 600 LT, the long tail. That's a nice McLaren, yes. And then Nissan GTR Nismo R35. All right. Not exactly a legend class vehicle, but a very, very good car nonetheless. And uh, Vulcan, right. Vulcans are cool. And of course my Valkyrie and yeah, Cayman GT4, uh, Caterham 7620R, Vantage AMR Pro and Camaro SS to round out this grid. Interesting. And oh yeah, that's, uh, that's a decent number of service bars taken out. I guess if you take two full, almost two full laps of Grand Prix, uh, Nurburgring Grand Prix, that will do it. And it, we're not racing uh, Formula One cars, so uh, those uh, service parts go down quick. All right, uh, so one goal down, three more to go. All right, so, and for goal two, looks like we've got an average speed challenge, target of 210 kph. So, all right. And this one, we actually have two laps to do it. And uh, 210, and no off track and no damage in your car. Okay, good to know. Those are kind of important. They're literally in like a tiny small print. Whoa. Okay, that didn't count as going off track. Either that or they are allowing at least uh, some race period of off track timing. So if we go off like this a little bit, that's yeah, that is definitely a corner cutting. So they are allowing some infractions. Alright, and this one. I got a boogie. Keep his wheel spinning. Oh, there's quite a bit of speed here. There's a Nissan. That was a terrible line. Getting distracted by that Nismo. Alright. And the dark morning rendering does definitely make this a bit more challenging in this in my uh, device here. Alright, okay. I didn't even see what I was overtaking. It was this blue blob. Alright, that's Ahmed and that's the 918. Recognize it anytime, even in the dark. 
Alright, so average speed looks good. Got a bit of buffer too, I would say. Just need to uh, make sure we don't go off the track or crash or lose too much time. Oh, that was close. Can we make this corner without? Yeah, that's a little bit better, I want to think. Uh, keep dipping under 210. Makes me a little nervous. Coast through because uh, I think I can coast through fast enough through those corners. I feel like I lose less speed when I do that than um, hard braking. There's the Benino. And 212 and losing a bit more speed, but finishing in Q2 with a couple of extra KPH to spare. All right. But I think that's gonna put the car pretty solidly in critical condition. Uh, because that was two full laps in just a little bit more. So definitely traveled a bit more than the first goal. And yeah, I mean, combined, it's almost like four laps of Nürburgring Grand Prix. The one that I wasn't able to overtake was uh, McLaren P1 GTR. But best lap time wise, mine is significantly faster. I like almost the whole 10 whole seconds. Look at that. But yeah, it does put the car in red pretty solidly so the way things are going I am gonna assume that I'm gonna need to service the car uh, but let's check out what the next goal is first all right so two goals down what's the goal three uh, you're noticeably faster than myself through the turns but I don't think you can hold the candle to my speed along the straights but you have the same car as I do. Uh, I'll try beating my highest speed of 191 mph or 307.38 kph, but do it three times. Yeah. <laughs> 324 right now uh, with the car in critical condition. So I'll have to get the car serviced. So let me do that first and. Uh, I will return momentarily. <laughs> 